Yeah, like uh, many people in this room, I, my background is uh, from a Unix operating system. Uh, during the student's time, I've been working with the uh, Unix operating system, probably one of the first uh, approaches in a Japanese university and the computer scientists. Um, I was reading all the source code of the uh, Unix operating system, uh, which was written in a language called C, and I found out uh, uh, the name char in there. And uh, what does char mean? And I immediately visiting the Bell Labs and uh, meet with uh, Dennis Ritchie. And uh, why do you call this char? And uh, then uh, he said that because it's uh, for the character. And uh, which character do you mean? And uh, you know, our version of the character needs a 16 bit instead of 8 bit. And uh, that, that's what I, we, we started the discussion. And uh, then you know, computer science was uh, very much uh, US oriented. And uh, then you know, so we had a, a long debate. Uh, so the same things we did with uh, Bill Joy when he did uh, you know, the, the, uh, the VI, which is uh, basically uh, you know, treating the parity bit uh, uh, tricky. So uh, he thought that it was a 7 bit. I mean, character was a 7 bit, but we need, we need uh, 16 bits for Japanese uh, character sets. So uh, um, then uh, you know, I read the RFC 822. Then it said uh, explicitly that email content has to be written in an ASCII character. Okay? Then, uh, you know, so the, I thought the email uh, would be uh, exchanged by, only by English. Uh, but uh, then you know, it's really not. Uh, when I started the university network in Japan, oh, by the way, my name, Japan University Network, so easy to remember. <laughs> and uh, um, so when I started the network in Japan in the 80s, then you know, I found out that uh, I thought that computer scientists can read English and speak in English uh, because they are reading all the papers and the manuals and etc. But actually, uh, they, they couldn't. Therefore, the, you know, it's uh, really important to introduce the languages onto a computer environment, and the, as well as the internet space and the messages. Uh, so the, my first lecture, I remember, uh, in the IDF was uh, about that and the, how we did, uh, you know, kind of local language accommodation on the email space. So um, the global space of the internet has been established by the, uh, uh, many people's efforts. But uh, it's uh, also in, in important to respect the culture and the, uh, of the, each of the regions. So uh, that's uh, one of the uh, things uh, I was uh, uh, thinking. So uh, I really appreciate uh, all over the world, and the, especially the World Wide Web space, and the respecting all the languages and the cultures uh, in the, on, the, on the internet uh, space. So uh, that's a good thing. And the second thing is uh, you know, being uh, academic, and the staying in the in a in a university, uh, that was a very important thing. That as you know, getting back to the Berkeley standard uh, software distribution things has been done at the Berkeley, and uh, then you know the first source code of a TCP/IP was distributed around the world from the Berkeley University. So uh, you know um, that was uh, very much uh, impressed uh, me, and uh, you know as uh, working with them. Therefore, then after the when we have uh, decided that the ITF uh, for the uh, IP next generation things, which is uh, you know, eventually being uh, IP version 6, and uh, then uh, uh, there was no uh, computer science research group at Berkeley at that time. And uh, then uh, I was wondering who's going to be uh, doing the reference code for IP version 6. And uh, then uh, we've been working very hard, and I was encouraging all my wide project uh, uh, engineers to uh, write a reference code. Uh, to them, so uh, working with the India people, Naval Research US, and uh, then you know, jointly uh, created the Kame protocol stack on uh, BSD for the IP version six. I hope uh, you know uh, that was a, a very strong, um, uh, you know, uh, emotion that uh, you know we have uh, received from the, all the contribution from the UC Berkeley. Uh, for the first TCP/IP source code around the world, so uh, I really want to uh, kind of uh, uh, do the similar things from from Japan. So uh, that was uh, 
uh, you know, role of the university is still going on. And uh, then you know, a lot of difficulties, new researches, new uh, wisdom. Uh, we really need the internet, and the, the wisdom from the university and the academic network is going to be uh, a really very important the basics uh, for the future of the internet. And uh, lastly, uh, I'd like to mention about the ISOC. Um, I remember the first ISOC, I INET, was in the Denmark in, uh, here in uh, Europe uh, in 1991. Uh, and uh, I, I was there. And uh, then you know, we have discussed about uh, we really need, uh, you know, like a consensus speech. And uh, then you know, uh, a lot of difficulties on uh, kind of uh, newly uh, creating the uh, uh, computer networks in the country. So uh, we have uh, difficulties in Japan. It was the start of the internet society activities all over the world. I'm proud of uh, hosting the very first uh, uh, internet society in, uh, in Japan.